Evening all. Okay. Uh, Daily Warzone final. Okay. It's uh, 12 February. Okay. 44 have entered. I'm doing a stream later if I want to catch up the stream at 9 o'clock. That's in uh, three hours' time. So, and uh, um, I'm not sure what. Actually, I haven't chosen what games I'm going to cover later, but it's, a, it's in three hours' time. So, uh, right. <clears throat> Uh, maybe Sparth, maybe Fisher. I haven't really. Uh, yeah, I, sh I, sh I usually have an idea at about this time what, what I'm going to cover later on on the uh, on the Kings Crusher radio show. Uh, maybe Karpov from a Tilburg tournament would be interesting. Uh, different sort of style to usual uh, to the usual sort of style I cover. Or yeah, Tal. His world championship against uh, Botvinnik is, is probably interesting to have a look at. Uh, some of those games. Okay. Um, so it's Twitch TV, King's Crush. I'll be streaming later at 9 o'clock. So uh, if you want to catch me up then, if you missed the stream or you're just on YouTube and you wondered about Twitch.tv, uh, okay. So 53 events at 2133, average rating. Uh, I think I'll start off with a familiar opening. I'll just play the Grand Prix attack, I think. Fronting f6. So there's pressure on d5. He has hemmed in my bishop. It's a bit unpleasant. On a2, he's hemmed that in. Uh, I guess he's got a very good position because uh, he's blocked that whole piece out. But uh, okay. Push me back a bit. Can I try to undermine uh, that c4 pawn? Basically, like b3, trying to undermine it. Or hang on, if I just play rookie one for a moment. Um, okay, interesting. I'm gonna try and get a knight to g5 here. He's weakening that g5 a little bit. That would be dangerous for knight g5 this position, surely. How do you defend against knight g5? Um, it looks difficult to defend against knight g5. It looks rather awkward. So although he's strategically got rid of a piece, uh, this looks very awkward. Um, if rook f7, knight g5, rook g7, it's queen g7, knight e6 there. Oh, he's got bishop g8, and I'm not sure. Um, so maybe that's interesting. Queen g7, knight e6. Or just knight e6, queen g8. Am I actually winning any material there? No. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, what have I just done? Okay. Uh... Right, it's time to start panicking. What about rook h3? Uh, okay, he's a bit in a squashed position. Uh, but how do I possibly exploit this? Can I kick that guy? Hmm, this isn't going too well, is it? Okay, I've got a clock advantage. Um, this bishop's just just uh, a non-piece um, in this position. I get to that back row. 
least defend my king. Okay, g4 coming up or something. I'll try and liberate this guy. And something. I can't really get it back into the game that easily. It's covering f7. Um, can I play for g4? Try and get my rook out of trouble. It's getting very short on time. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I'm on the scoreboard. Offer this guy draw. He's two, three, five, six. Bit of a danger man. And he's not accepting it. It's not a nice pairing for the second round. Second round. I guess he might take. Okay. Double pawns. I can attack them with queen b6. Or not. It's going to prove my d6 is weak, so I better shield that d6. Right, if I play a6 and b5, just try and b4. Uh, so this knight f5. Right, if I get queen a5 in, that could be something. If I take that, where would the knight go? So if I cast it instead, on d6 is a bit of a pain. <clears throat> Try and get grip on these dark squares. Oh. If I play for knight e7, take that. There's bishop e6 here. Can I open up the line here? Oh, it's very dangerous for g7 now. This looks pretty dangerous indeed. <clears throat> Can I play for c3 though? Mm -hmm. Who's going to get mated first? I'm, I expect it's probably me, but give it a shot. Uh, so, how would I speed up things here? Rook sack for b2 at some point. Um. How would I speed things up here? There is knight g5, which could be annoying to the queen for a moment. Uh, now if I try and challenge that knight. I'm assuming I can try and take on f5 without getting mated. The knight might be quite good defensively. Um, mm. Alright, so just B2 to open up lines. I want to try and get my attack going. Uh, what's quickest? If only Bishop C4 is possible. So it's like. Um, just double for A3 or something. Or C3. Okay, okay, A3 is a bit of a target. Yes, yeah, so that's a pain. Okay, can I get my queen in the game here? If I get queen to G5 or somewhere. Mm, in trouble. <clears throat> I don't know, queen g5 doesn't really do anything I'm waiting around okay need a plan I'm gonna drop d6 here whoa can I get my oh dear oh dear this has gone pear shaped. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, that's not a good pairing for the second round. And the time is just drained four minutes as well. Okay. Oh well. Uh, 2 2 8 4 now in round three. Okay. 
There's going to be a pawn. That could be a good sign. Uh, there's no bishop c6 here though. It's got knight c6. Five any good? Try and get some sort of advantage. Not the bishop pair, if that means anything. Oh, I'm gonna lose b2. Oh, it doesn't matter about b2 actually. And win b7. Okay, can I just get the queens off? It's a nice position anyway. Also, C7 pressure is good. <coughs> and C7. That means the D, D pawn's good. Oh, D6 straight off the bat. Okay, he's got Knight D6 though. If I had to C5, that would be really nice to stop that. Okay. Can I do something with this? Let me attack the rook. Gives me a tempo at least. So now rook d8. Okay, I'm tying him up, I think. So bishop d7 or rook c6, rook c8, or c6. I'm attacking the knight. Um, oh, there's, is there nothing here like rook d7? This pawn's dangerous, surely. For queening, because it's supported by the bishop, so this might be good, good game, good win here. <coughs> Two back row, mate. Queen c3 will win the rook, if rook b2. Okay. Only days. <coughs> My average rating is pretty high. I think two, two, three, seven. <laughs> My average opponents. <coughs> Ah, could this be a gift? Might not be moving. That would really help. Tall situation. Oh, it's, it's not. It's moving. If I d5 here, it's kind of. I'll just take. What? Did he? No, it's my last move. Nope. Okay. Alright, that helps. Okay, uh, 2297. Pairings are fun today. <laughs> Try for this bind system. So it's a little Moroxy bind combined with uh, Queen Bishop Fianchetto. It should be quite easy to play. Avoids opening ferry. He's sitting at my e4 square, which means does this routine maneuver count rook f3? Um, it's bishop d4. I don't know if that's needed. It's more stable, I think. On e5 like this. Okay, so maybe knight g5 coming up. Um, swap off a pair of rooks. This rook c2 invasion is going to be annoying. Maybe rook c1. If rook c8, rook c1. Also, isn't I'm a threatening knight f7 in any case? Okay, so. Actually, if I go for b4 here. I've got that c4 square covered. He's got knight a4 coming up. That's as annoying as well. Can I move the bishop to uh, e3 without getting done over? In fact, if I put it here, zigzag it. Also, queen g3 to h3. Uh, that knight's not going anywhere, is it? Uh, 
little bit unfortunate. Queen to h6 though. Get this pin or wait for that. I'm going to get the rook over. Why isn't it rook c1 just yet? Can't attack my queen. Um. <clears throat> so, where, how would the attack, the attack proceed here? I think I have to do something about my king. Like king f2 or something. That's annoying. That protects the bishop anyway. Uh, that protects g4. When he's got knight. Uh, the bishop's not yet. Okay. Um, have I got bishop h6? Will he let me have bishop h6? He's got knight h5. Winning more material. Okay, that was nice to have. Oh, a bit of a draw by repetition if I want. I'll try for a bit more to be cheeky. What about bishop f8? Doesn't that win queen? Oh, it was nice. Otherwise, a wooden bishop. That was actually a good move for a change. <laughs> uh, is he going to take her? I'm threatening mate. Oh, mate. No, I'm not. No, I'm not threatening mate. Uh, now for queen h8 of rookie 7. A 2 2 9 7, I'll take that 2 2 9 7, that's good. Average, average opposition 2 2 0 8 so far, so it's not a bad score for average opposition. The Russian system makes a change from unsound elephant gambit. Super solid. Why didn't I just... No, no, yeah, that's alright. Okay. Let me d5 soon. Oh, he's not letting me. Right, is there... Uh, like queen h4, is that... I'm on c4, I'm on h2. Nab c4? Is it too dangerous? Or is queen h3? Okay, so if I rip open that king, I think that's a bit of fun. Useful. Could be dangerous, uh, especially like that. That's definitely dangerous. Okay, coming back up there. He's a disconnector. How did he do that? Disconnect without... Oh, is he back? His clocks. Oh, that's a real shame. I'm going to have to wait the whole... Two oh, man, you're kidding me. Instead of having a quick... <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm going to have to wait two minutes. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, man. How did that happen? He got disconnected right at the start. Time for lemonade break. Okay. I've got diet lemonade made with rubber lemon juice here. Huh? supposed to be sort of I think it's better for a cold than a coke. I'm still I think I'm almost getting over the cold. Um got a slight hip block. Uh, trying to use Otex and uh yeah. Okay. So what's going on in the torment at the moment? Um, I guess I'm losing ranking points soon. Oh, actually I've got it here. Oh, that's good. That saves having to wait the whole 
the whole lot. That's that's something. Okay. Uh, so I'm on 34 now. 34. French defense filter it in reverse this position. So I'm sort of playing like a French defense in reverse. I can also undermine d5 with g4, g5. But uh, I think he's going to give me the center and the diagonal and e4 at this rate. Quite a few trump cards with one. Um, I suppose f4, that's desirable for black, I think, to have played f4. Uh, now I get to play maybe knight b3 and d5 soon. I'll stop knight a5, it might be annoying, or knight c5. I think castle queenside, and sort of knight d4 or d6 if c6. Or g4 just to open that g file. Or play e4 in the center for e5. Okay, I'm on the knight on t7 though. So he's on c4 here. Queen e6 doesn't do much at the moment. Uh, I don't like to lose my bishop here. Um, let's see if I can just. If I play a check and then knight e4. Okay, the check and wins e3 if he takes on e3. It's handy. And queen f6 for knight e4 is also interesting, but I'll just take the piece for a moment. Uh, okay, I'm, on, I'm protecting c3. He doesn't really want to give up g7, does he? Okay, he has to defend g7. That is one way. Uh, so just... Let's go to f5. To attack the rook. Or e6. If I play for knight e6. So that attacks the queen, he hasn't got any check here. So I'll play rook g7 next. It looks pretty pretty good. Uh, well, not yet. F6 or doubling. If I just double for a moment. Uh, so maybe h4 to get more pressure on the diagonal. Play h6, it looks pretty dangerous. Or now rook h6 is threatened. Okay, uh, it's looking, oh, queen, queen, a3 is possible. Okay, just get things off here. It's f6. It's queen, g6. Queen, g7. Okay, up there. Okay. And some rumour this is Aronian's brother. I can't find that hard to believe this guy's Aronian's brother. He is from Armenia. But I would find I didn't know Aronian had a brother, A. Eh? Does Aronian have a brother? Really? Is it this guy? <laughs> anyway. Sicilian for a little bit of a change, especially against the Fianchetto system. This is interesting to play. I think knight c6 and just bishop c4 is interesting. Going for softening up. Uh, actually, e5 here looks incredibly tempting. Bishop g5, queen f3. If 
e6 wall. Oh, there's um, these dark square weaknesses are very very tempting to try and exploit. Okay, he plays bishop e5, but he's losing some development. Mm, there is d5. Okay. That is a point. Should I have protected that e5 pawn? I'm starting to regret maybe not protecting it. Oh, no, I meant to castle. Oh, man. <laughs> I meant to castle. Oh, well. Can I use this rook on h1 anyway? Okay, if I take... Oh, what? What's happening with the pre-moves? Did I do a move there? And I'm losing the bishop now. <laughs> it's an unfortunately disastrous game so far with... <laughs> pre-moves. <laughs> Ah, oh. this is bad news. Oh, I'm losing the rook now. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> don't know what to say. I, I could have just held on to e5, rather calm game. Oh, wait, this is gambling, I'm dropping bits and pieces and not castling. I don't think it's my connection causing that. I, I did try and castle, not play king f1. Can I play for knight e5 and queen h4? This queen looks a bit in trouble there. If I just take on b2 now, there's a bit of a seesaw going on. Um, well, I've weakened the whole diagonal. Okay, so maybe now... I take on d2 or something. Should bishop b4? Maybe a5 more subtle for bishop b4 than rook b8. Okay, you saw it. Uh, what we good here? It looks like a fantastic position. But, uh, Okay, there's a check, a good friend. Put the bishop on e3 here. Maybe play for c5 and e4. Oh, he's got knight c4. It's bishop d4, come on. I could have skewered bishop d4. Ah, oh, winning a piece here anyway. Maybe like me in the last game, just fall into bits. <laughs> I've got Bishop B5 coming up, so okay. I suppose. B3, Bishop B2. Oh, he's got the ch check. Right. So, how can I arrange B3 and Bishop B2 here? It's going to be difficult. Play Rook B1, B3, and then Bishop B2. Hold on to this knight. He doesn't want to move his queen away from there. Okay, what about c3 now for bishop c2 and d4? Change of plan. We'll get the queens off here. 
I'll play just for D3. He's got F5 though. I think I've got Queen G3 here on F5. Oh, he's got Fe. And back row is winning. Oh, it's another disaster. Ah, he's got Fe. Ah, oh, he didn't take it. Okay. So I'm pawn down. How does this happen? Okay, it could have been worse. Opposite color bishops. Control on E5 might mean this is okay. I don't want both rooks coming off. I think I want my uh, king involved, even if I have to play g4. Actually, that gives me rook f6 potentially. It's not really going to play that. It's okay, I'm going to blockade. Um, get king to e3. Try and use this h file somehow. Hmm. I'm going to take this uh, rook. See what happens. Doesn't move it. Okay. Well, this is looking up. If I play rook g7, I'm threatening rook h1, mate. It's definitely looking up from before. Still threatening mate now. Rook h1. Okay. That was, yeah, he had, he had a clear win there, just with the back row weakness. Uh, okay. So, Aronian's brother, is it, it's that guy that beat me earlier, really beat me up badly. Or was it, was it one, okay, 130, 2123 average rating. My average rating has dropped significantly. Oh, I've got, got a bonus there. Okay. Reverse French defense. It's usually it's quite a powerful weapon, usually. I'll just get this bishop good. Um, get this G file. Can I use the G file here? Without my king being in too much trouble. My king's probably in a bit of trouble here. Should I have just castled first? That would have been. An interesting concept. And you queen g1, king could crawl to the queen side. We can still use this diagonal potentially. Queen g4 is almost the tempo if that queen wasn't protecting. I think I want to keep this diagonal open. So I'm actually maybe threatening knight potentially. That e5 square is pretty good. Him. Okay, can I? Okay, my king's coming out to d3 here. Does it matter? Can I get rid of his defensive bishop? Or not? Not really. I think for e5 and knight e4, we'll just put the king somewhere safe first. Might be an idea. I don't mind him giving up the queen for two rooks. Surely the coordination's not there. There's going to be a knight f6 or something. Oh no, come on. Right, his rooks are not amazingly connected right now. Though this is annoying stuff. Knight e3 is also. Ah, oh, he's winning material. So the king on d4 is an interesting piece. Um. Right, okay. If I play knight e6. Can I hold that? I 
check here if I loosen I check and check here, wouldn't that win the rook? Check, King F7, check. Hopefully I'm winning that rook. As I'm threatening Queen F4, loosening this rook. Check, check. I think wins the rook on D6. This is doubles now. Okay. Um. Okay, my king can attack this guy for a sec. Um, okay, uh, how's this ending if I have to give up both rooks? I mean, if I have to give up a queen for two rooks. Okay, I'm controlling a2 here. Oh, 14 seconds each, I think it's pre move time. Blimey, he could have had a perpetual check at any time there. Um, okay. Alright, let's take that one. Try and hold on to the material. Uh, it's going to be difficult here. This is crazy. Is it crazy? If I play G4, does it make sense? I'm holding on F4. I'm just losing that now. Okay. I win D4. Um, okay, I win D4. E5 might drop. Take and he takes hair and my queen f6 trying to get the queens off. Not really. Okay, let's try and just get these pieces out. Ah, what is this? Isn't d5 loose here? Ah, uh, I guess. Can I not? If I avoid taking that, uh, it's not. It's not a good good idea to avoid taking that. If I win this pawn, this diagonal won't be good. This should be. Bishop d5 though, bishop d5. Mm, goes on that diagonal. Right, so now maybe uh, this g file potentially is good. Or we'll play, playing for rookie one to get the rook away. Then there's knight f3 after that. No, it doesn't quite work there. Okay, 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 so knight. Uh, or rookie five here. Yeah, this bishop f four. Okay, just this this g file could be fun. I would hope. So if it's eight, it has not bishop e three. Okay, uh, he's got bishop e five coming up. <clears throat> Don't go for a rook on the seventh. Does that mean anything here? Or not, not particularly. Uh, unfortunately, haven't got anything clear here. Um, it's Brooks having to defend their free. Oh, I can take and take on a free. Be the exchange down, uh, which isn't good. Uh, 
Oh, could I take A2 to try and do something with the pawns? It would have been something. This is hopeless now. Uh, it's a shame. It's, uh, there's, no, there's no hope here because the king's kind of stranded. I'll give it up, I think. Uh, so 20 minutes to go. Ah, oh, Tezik. He's not doing very well at the moment. Free is 2250. Okay. Usually does very well in the morning tournaments. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, looking forward to. Well, this looks like an interesting position. Play for bishop c4. Get rid of this white square bishop. Maybe even take this pawn. So something like Queen C two my castle and then F three. Is that too dangerous? Ah now isn't there a problem with knight e four here? Or even Queen E four is possible, surely. Queen e4, take, take, that's pinned. Yeah? I would hope that this is possible. <clears throat> oh, he's threatening. Uh, uh, okay, he's threatening. If I play knight f3, just defending h2. As soon as he moves the knight, I can take on d5. So is he going to move the knight? Yep. Right, so knight e5 looks powerful. Blocking the bishop. Knight f7 comes to mind now. Knight e3 or queen e3. Uh, so, okay, I think I'll take on here. Oh, Queen C5 hits the Rook. Uh, <clears throat> that is threatening. Nasty stuff. Oh dear, I think I'm getting mated. Uh, I think I have to take here. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Desperate. There's a pin there. Whether that's worth. Hmm. I thought he was good in the morning tournaments. So I'm surprised he was on that score. It's a real shame. 20 seconds though to finish me off. Could be touch and go, I hope. Get away from the pin. 16. Seconds, is he panicking? Three, one. What's happening with his clock? 
I don't know. Maybe that's why he's on the low score. There must be a reason. Okay, uh, yeah, 15 minutes to go. 2 2 4 1 on 1. I mean. <laughs> I'm playing the Russian system at the moment. All this. Uh, someone's going to play the fried liver one day. Take on d5 and play knight e7. I'm getting rid of this uh, light square bishop if I can. I'm not like that. Oh, this is troublesome. Queen f6. Oh dear. Uh, rook f8. Alright, better. So Queen f6, knight e5. Okay. And castle. Uh, no, can't castle. Uh, I'll take left 2 Gives him a frontal attack for nothing, but I get the e3 square. Okay, can I do something with this c file? Um, is b3 any good? Just, just slowly go for an attack. How about bishop d4 and e4? Oh, free queen. That helps, always helps. <laughs> <It's handy. laughs> okay, uh, <clears throat> someone's running away, that guy early on is running away with it. This guy, I don't think he moved last time. Oh, I did, he's moving now. Around the pawn. All right, I've got focal point F six here. Uh, so something like ninety six is almost interesting. If it takes with the queen, bishop f5. If it just takes like that. Can I just take on f6? Is that too greedy? I want h7 as well for rook f8. Why not just win e6 here? Why not just win e6? Okay, so I've got that F file. Okay, so Knight F7 is now tasty. I'll block him, Bishop. Knight F7 just taking on E5. Okay, or uh, don't mind. Rook on the seventh. Put the knight on d5 here, knight g4 to uh, f6 to d5. Ah, right, if I take on e5 here, it gives them bishop e3. I don't want bishop e3 particularly, just let me defend for a moment e5. Maybe bring my king to e2 first. So bring my king to e2. I'm friendly knight e5 or rook f6. There's also knight c4 now. Uh, so if I've got knight c4, I've got rook f8 and e5 coming up. Well, that's a nice structure from my perspective. Uh, 
Ah, oh, okay, can I win d4? Go to win a5 next. Fix that. That rook. Yeah, so his rook's kind of prisoner. I'll bring my king to c4 and then play e5, I think. Or e5 here. And king c3 is better without any check. So his rook's going to go back for a5. Actually, he's got g5 here stopping the pass pawn there. Alright, so. It's going to be in Zugzwang though soon. If I just play for. Uh, or b4. Then rook a5. Or a5. Okay, the rook's really got no squares. I can play king b4 and move my rook, and he can't move his rook without sacking the pawn. Now rook d6 I think is mate. Okay. Nine minutes thirty-four. Okay, let's protect this for a sec. Bishop g4 and then castle queenside maybe. Dark square grip is okay, yeah. Let me get that G file. He's not really gonna play G4, is he? Play Brook G8. Ooh, that looks like a bad structure. Ooh, we can just take care. Well, this looks pretty good. Win the queen. Play for bishop f4. Okay, 8 minute 24. Knight f6? I'll play e5, I think, today. I think knight b5 is interesting here. Maybe knight d6, just to try to. Put lead in development, play f5 quickly. Uh, maybe not here, f5. Now maybe f6 and queen g5. Oh. Okay, so knight f6, bishop e5. Let's travel on dark squares. Yeah, if only I had a queen sack or something. Um, maybe this introduces rook f5, bishop f5, rook f7. Try g4. What about g4, bishop g4? Okay, I think I'll just for the moment. I'm taking bishop g4 there. There's bishop g6 here. That gives me rook g3. Six here. Wish we have six. Um, okay. Um, let's just play with this for a sec. Actually, I think just rookie one threatens rookie eight. So queen of eight, rookie one threatening rookie eight. Let's bishop f five, queen g five. I get to play rookie seven soon. 
Ah, uh, uh, good point. What about rook g3 coming up? It's limited defensive resources here for g7. I think this d pawn is pretty good. Well, he gets rook and bishop versus queen. Okay, uh, I'm not there. But so this guy's running off 270. Oh, no, no, it's not that guy. Okay, no panic. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's what I need. 30 to catch up. 5 minutes 16. Playing for d4, not d4. Um, ah, this is a storage territory. <laughs> ah, storage. Ah, let's try and get an f file dynamic. No, he's not letting me have an f file dynamic. Ah, can I play for queen d2, bishop h6? Right, center. He's defending against bishop h6 there. Right, f file. Here we come. There is knight g4. Maybe I should have factored that in, played at h3 first. Hmm. Okay. Don't tell me knight g3. It's harassing me with his knights. Let's play for d4 here then. Try and undermine this guy. Oh, he's winning e4 now. What did I do that for? Ow. Pin that guy. This has gone a bit pear shaped. So someone on minus four. <laughs> oh dear. What about knight uh knight d two? Do I end up losing the exchange with knight d two? Can I win that e four pawn back? Without getting destroyed. It's got, it's got things like Oh, it's got dangerous stuff coming up. I'm going to protect g2 and against knight h3. I suppose he's got e3 and knight h3, and there's rook g3 there. Okay. I'll take here. Alright, maybe that's a good sign that I'm not being mated on g2 just yet. I've reached an ending. I have more time. the e file. Play g3 to keep the knight out. And king g2 try and get the rooks out. Maybe h4 for h5. Oh okay he's got the other rook to f3. Can I get rid of just if I get rid of a pair of rooks here with rook e8. Oh, he wasn't expecting. Oh, blimey. What a tactic. Knight e2. He's got knight e2. Okay, that gives me material. Okay, 1 minute 38 to go. Go so that means he's not going to resign uh, at any point, uh, even if he's totally losing. Uh, okay, um, 
try for a quick cheat, mate. I think, as usual. So, Queen H4. And. Okay, so something like Bishop H3 is dangerous here, surely. So, Knight F3 is now dangerous. Knight G4. We get pressure on E3 here, I'm threatening. Queen H1, Rook H2. Pressure on E3. That's G3. Also, Rook H2 would be useful. Rook H6, Rook G6. So, Rook H1. Queen H3 threatened. Uh, if I just play Queen D2, try and for a quick mate. Ah, uh, keep it to the other side. Ah, uh, okay. Fourth, drop to fourth. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much. I'll be streaming uh, later anyway, in a couple of hours as well. Thanks.